Hi, I'm Tom Anahumi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration video, I'm introducing Transparent Snapshot, a new feature within Dell EMC Power Protect Data Manager which changes the way we protect our virtual machines to ensure availability of all the virtual machines at scale without disruption. The technology traditionally used for backing up VMware assets is VMware's vStorage APIs for data protection, VADP. Though widely used, VADP-based backup solutions introduce challenges that lead to application disruption, ultimately comprising day-to-day -day operations. Transparent Snapshots technology is a new VM image method that eliminates application disruption during VM backups, all without compromise. Transparent Snapshots is a new feature available with Dell EMC PowerProtect Data Manager 19.9 that delivers unique VM where VM protection. Transparent Snapshots simplifies and automates VM image level backups, enables backing up virtual machines without the need to pause the VM during the backup process. The result is significantly reduced the impact on virtual machines, especially large, high change rate virtual machines. Additionally, the simplified backup process via Transparent Snapshot reduces infrastructure by removing the reliance on proxies for data movement. Now, let's see how it all works. I'm navigating to PowerProtect Data Manager in order to add my vCenter server. I'm clicking on Add vCenter and providing the name, the fully qualified domain name or IP, and add the credentials. I'm selecting the checkbox to install the vSphere plugin and clicking Verify to verify the certificate. Then I'm clicking Accept and Save. By navigating to the vSphere user interface, we can see that the PowerProtect plugin has been deployed. Now, if I right-click on a virtual machine, I can find a PowerProtect tab in this menu. This plugin allows vSphere admins to run backup and restore operations directly from the vSphere user interface. PowerProtect 19.9 eliminates the need for VM proxies and provides a simple and efficient method to backup virtual machines, transparent snapshots. An ESXi-based plugin, which is a VMware-certified VMware installation bundle, gets deployed in real-time as needed, eliminating the need to use proxies and allowing for scaling by leveraging additional ESXi hosts where the data movers resides, versus needing manual intervention. It's important to mention that an ESX reboot is not required. If I go back to the asset sources, I can now see that the discovery process completed. And under assets, we can find a list of our virtual machines from the vCenter inventory. Now, it's time to create a protection policy. We click on add and provide a policy name. Next, we select the purpose. We can choose between crash or application consistent backup. Next, we select the virtual machines we want to protect. Here, we select the backup target and schedule, and then the retention policy. Next, we can optimize the backup for performance or capacity. For the purpose of this demo, I'm selecting performance. We click next to see the summary view and finish to create a job. At this stage, we're ready to start the backup job. This can be done from PowerProtect Data Manager user interface or from within vSphere user interface, as I showed before. By navigating to the Protected Virtual Machine Performance tab, I can see that it is generating 120 megabyte per second of write operations and 120 per second of read operations, while the average storage latency is around 0.2 millisecond. This VM, by the way, is running on a PowerStore cluster. Before running a transparent snapshot backup, let's simulate a traditional backup by creating a VMware-based snapshot and check the guest application performance impact. The guest performance impact in the presence of snapshots on VMFS is due to the nature of SE sparse redo logs. When I.O. is issued from a VM with a snapshot, vSphere determines whether the data reside in the base VM decay or if it resides in the redo log. 
The resulting I.O. latency depends on various factors, such as I.O. type, whether the data exists in the redo log or the base VMDK, the snapshot level, the redo log size, and the type of the base VMDK. As you can see, the write latency increased from 0.2 millisecond to 8 millisecond. If we navigate to the disk bandwidth metrics, we can see a significant impact on the performance. The read rate decreased by 40%, while the write rate decreased by more than 70%. Now, I'm removing the snapshot. Removing a VMware snapshot consolidates the changes between the snapshots and writes all the data from the delta disk to the parent snapshot. When you delete a base parent snapshot, all the changes merge with the base VM disk. As you can see, the guest application performance is still inconsistent during the snapshot removal, which takes about 10 minutes to complete in my scenario. Even after the snapshot removal, it takes a quite a bit of time for the application to recover and back to normal performance. Now, let's run a transparent backup snapshot. As I've mentioned before, we can run the process from vSphere UI or for PowerProtect Manager UI. I'm right-clicking on the virtual machine and navigating to the PowerProtect and then selecting Backup from the drop-down menu. This instantiates a backup according to the backup policy I configured for the virtual machine. If I go back to PowerProtect user interface and click on Jobs, we can see the details of the backup job and all the backup steps. PowerProtect Data Manager uses transparent snapshots by using a variant of the vSphere API for I.O. VAIO filtering framework. In vSphere 7 Update 3, VMware added this framework which deploys the components in the VMware E6i infrastructure to create consistent VM backup copies. It then uses an internal component, TSDM, that is created through the PowerProtect Data Manager VIB to write the copies to the protection storage, which is, in our case, PowerProtect Appliance. There are three simple steps of VM image backup lifecycle with transparent snapshots. One, change monitoring, which tracks the VM deltas since the last snapshot was taken. Two, snapshot processing, during which the VM deltas are accessed in memory. Data is transferred directly to PowerProtect Appliance. And three, snapshot release at which time delta tables and temporary data blocks are removed. Because it does not require external proxy or temporary copies to be used as part of the VM image backup lifecycle, transparent snapshots is superior to traditional backups at each step of the lifecycle. If we check the latency now, we can see that it increased to 3 milliseconds for one minute and then dropped back to 2 milliseconds compared to 8 milliseconds in the presence of the VMFS snapshot. The performance impact is much less significant. The write rate decreased by 20% compared to 70% in the presence of the VMFS snapshot. At this stage, I will fast forward the video to the point where the backup is complete. Now, we can see all the backup details by navigating to the backup job from PowerProtect Manager user interface. At this stage, we can perform a restore operation. I'm right-clicking on the VM and navigating to PowerProtect, selecting the restore from the drop-down menu. This instantiates a restore job where I can select the restore options such as the purpose, type, virtual machine information, location, ESX and host, and network, all within the vSphere user interface. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.